trying to figure it all out All out I'm afraid of Hey there I missed you Hey there It's been a while Whoa. Anyways, welcome back to the only place on YouTube where you can watch me procrastinate my CS problem sets by sitting in my room alone, talking to a camera. So, I thought about titling this video, Where I've Been, or College is Hard, uh, but I soon realized I had already made use of those ideas. You guys can probably guess where I'm at right now. I'm about a little over two months into my first semester of my junior year here at Yale. Classes are hard extracurriculars are time-consuming and despite all that I'm still having the time of my life so in this video I wanted to take you guys along for a day in my life of my junior fall but I also wanted to kind of talk about my concept of time and how it's changed drastically in the past couple years but first let's hit the gym I'm afraid that when I'm old, I'll never know what it's all about, all about, yeah. But I got no time for these women, they call me up and they tryna get with it. I think I might be caught up in the city, I do it wrong when I'm off of the any. Four in the morning, I'm stumbling home, thinking about you and it's all that I want. I just realized that mirror defeats any purpose of making this shot look natural, so just forget about that. I haven't done that a hundred times before. So I guess since uh, this is one of the first vids back, I should probably give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, as you guys saw in the, the move-in video, this is the uh, this is the new crib for this year. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. No complaints, honestly. Other than the fact that my bed I have not only not made, but it's completely broken. If you can see, it's, uh, I don't even know if I can stand on this. This corner of the bed is completely just just gone, um, so that's not good. Um, gonna have to take care of that. Uh, I think I just broke it even more. Um, so maybe, maybe you guys will get a room tour when I actually have a functional bed that I can actually, you know, sit on or sleep on without messing up my back. So as much as I don't want to think about it, I am nearly half. I'm over halfway done with my time here at Yale, my time in college. It's terrifying, it really is. Um, you guys probably didn't know me before college, um, and that's probably a good thing, because I was kind of a squid. Uh, but I've changed a lot, I really have. As a person, my thoughts, my beliefs, my perspectives, college has been a very transformative time for me, just like it is for a lot of people. And specifically, I've really came to value my time differently. So time, if you if you think way back, there's been a there's been a big debate over time since the beginning of history. For the philosopher Plato, um, time was strictly physical. It was tied to the movement of the celestial bodies in our universe around the sun. It was specific, measurable, concrete. Aristotle, on the other hand, was the first Greek philosopher to propose the idea that time was subjective and it was inherently tied to the soul. Basically, there's no way for time and the being who perceived it to be separated at all. And uh, me, well, I think they both have good points. I'm a great believer in the way that you spend and divide your time between different activities and different things throughout the day can have a great impact on the way you feel and your personal mood and your general motivation about life. So freshman year, classes were easy. I wasn't holding any leadership positions in my extracurriculars and generally I had a lot of free time. So what did I do with that free time? I spent it making an effort to get to know the people that I would be spending the next four years with. Sophomore year, my mindset changed completely. I was now struggling to get my work done, struggling to complete it, struggling to understand the concepts that I was facing in my classes, and social life became a privilege. I would only allow myself to go out on a Friday or Saturday night if I had everything done, and I was locked away, and I would be ready to start class again that next Monday. Now, now as I'm deep into my junior year, classes are even harder. In fact, I think this might be my hardest semester that I've had at Yale yet. Yet I'm now forced with the idea that I only have two years left at this place and I'm trying to make the lasting memories that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. But I also, you know, don't wanna trash my GPA. And because of that, YouTube, like this has taken a sacrifice as well because I feel like there is definitely important to strike a balance between filming your life and actually 
you know, living your life. So I've came to the conclusion this year and I'm trying to stick to this. And that is not letting my work or my personal pursuits get in the way of the spontaneous moments that matter. 10 years from now, I'm not gonna remember the CSP set that I spent a couple hours, a couple extra hours edge casing late into the night. But what I will remember is that great conversation I had in the backyard of my house. I believe every moment in life has an inherent value associated with it. And I'm not gonna let the superficial pressure to be absolutely perfect in school get in the way of me making lasting memories. For example, last night I told myself I was going to start my readings for one of my, uh, my intelligence and espionage class at like 9 p.m. And uh, 8.45 rolls around and one of the graduated seniors alumni from my fraternity walked in and I actually ended up talking to him till like 11, 11.30. I can't imagine missing that conversation. Not only did I get a chance to catch up, but I learned a lot of life lessons from somebody who's actually out there now. And I like, that, that to me that's way more valuable than knocking out a couple readings. YouTube kind of falls into the same vein. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have this platform, so I do want to make the most of it, but it's, once again, it's that, it's that struggle with time. Time, time, time. And with that, let's get to class. Two days of Monday, which means my first class of the day is not till 1 p.m., which is great, because I get to go work out and do some work this morning. But my first class is Computer Science 323, which is a systems programming class and pretty much known as the black hole in the hardest CS class at Yale and the, the class that a bunch of makes a bunch of people drop the major. Um, so far it's going well. Um, we're gonna hope for the best. I'm thinking about making like an entire video about it later to kind of make fun of it. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Anyways, I'm headed over to Timothy Dwight College, which is my own residential college uh, for lunch. Uh, obviously, I don't live there anymore, but I still make an effort to swing by and grab, grab a meal every once in a while. Because I feel like it's important to make it over there and see everyone again. Oh man, bell tower's ringing, but I'm excited for the day. The leaves have fallen, but still very pretty outside. New Haven in the fall is incredible. So just a focus, All right. <laughs> just a little bit of an update. Um, I got back from class a while ago, chilled a little bit, and then went over to Berkeley, which is another one of the residential colleges for dinner. Um, I actually got dinner with one of my good friends, George, who's in the Magic Society. Uh, you've seen him in a bunch of other videos. He's ready, so. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely hilarious dude, but um, we haven't really seen each other in a while, so we thought we'd get lunch and catch up or get dinner and catch up, which was obviously a great time. Now it's later in the night. Uh, I'm pu actually putting in a little bit of work right now on something that's pretty interesting because at the moment, I don't really have any computer science work to be thinking about. I have some readings to do, but I actually turned in my last, second to last big computer science assignment on Thursday. So I only actually have one left for the semester and it hasn't been released yet. But what I do have is I actually have a programming interview for a job this summer early Wednesday morning that I'm prepping for right now. So I'll give you guys a couple tips and show you guys actually how I'm prepping for that. Um, what I use for a lot of my interview prep is this website called Leak Code, which has a wide range of problems and a bunch of different difficulties for programming. Um, and they're kind of your core problems that you're gonna be asked in a lot of the programming interviews. And what I recently found out about was this cool section called, um, like they made a specific section just for programming interviews itself. Um, so it kind of compiled all the kind of most asked questions in programming interviews. So I've already had a couple this semester so far, but I thought I would kind of go through um, their programming interview section because it's broken down into easy, medium, and hard. Most of the easy ones I've already done. So I'm actually just going through those right now, coding them up real quick to review. And then I'm gonna start cracking on the mediums because those are probably the ones that I'm gonna be more likely to get asked in program interviews and the hards are, I don't like to touch those. They're pretty ridiculous, but just some of the ones we've done so far, some of the classics, you know, and they actually have them divided into sections too. So like we have 
the array problems, the string problems, the linked list. I just finished the linked list ones and I'm working through the binary trees. Um, and a lot of these are pretty simple as I have done them before in, in my data structures classes, but I'm uh, trying to get through these quick so tomorrow I can start actually working on the medium questions. I do like to do a lot of work in my bed, but unfortunately, as I stated earlier, this thing is just completely collapsed. Um, but uh, this side is still somewhat functional. I actually did order a bed earlier today. Found a new cheap bed frame online that I Amazon primed and hopefully that'll be here in a couple days. Maybe that'll be a fun video idea. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna chill here. Maybe I'll throw on a time lapse of me working and uh, the night is slowly coming to an end. I'm hitting the sack for the night um, but that was a day in my life of my junior year because I know I haven't done a full one yet so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and hope you guys enjoyed kind of catching up and learning what I've been up to this semester I definitely do want to try filming more this is literally probably the first little bit of free time I've like first significant bit of free time I've had so that's why I immediately like went to pick up the camera this morning and I feel like it went pretty well um, obviously, I try to film as much as I can, but a lot of times I'm just rushing from place to place and forget to kind of fill in some clips. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Overall, if you did, if you're excited about this video and another video for me, just drop a like and a comment down below. Helps me and supports the channel out a lot more than you think. If you're psyched for more future videos, like I am, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Because, like, I think 60 to 70% of the people that actually watch my videos aren't even subscribed. Overall, I hope this wasn't just a normal video. I hope it kind of provokes some thought into how you value your own time, how you spend your own time, and how you wanna make the time that you have matter. So I'll leave you with those questions and those thoughts, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. So peace.